today we will understand what is place and place value what is the meaning of place value we have a number here 3 and 5 now these are houses of 10 and u 10 units so we have how many stacks over here we have 1 2 3 so they have written 3 tens and 5 units 30 and 5 or 35 the other number we have here is 5 stacks so 5 tens 0 units 50 and 0 50 now let's read what they are telling us In the number 35, we have 3 in the tens place and if we open 3 tens bundles, we get 30 units. That is why the place value of 3 is the number 35. As 5 is in the units place, its place value is 5. In the number 50, 5 is in the tens place. When we open 5 tens bundles, we get 50 units. Therefore, in the number 50, the place value of 5 is 50. In the units place, we have 0, whose place value is also 0. Today, we will learn how we have to find the place and the place value. Anytime you have a number given, you must remember whatever is underlined. The number always comes as an HTU. So whatever number is underlined, you have to see what number it is coming under, whether it is under H, whether it is under T or whether it is under U. If the number is under H, you will do H into 100. If the number is under T, you will do the number into 10. And if the number is under U, you will do U, whatever the number is, into 1. So when you are finding the place value, now there are two words, place value. So you have to remember, you also have to do two things. You have to take the number and you have to multiply it by either hundreds for ten, hundreds place, tens for tens place and one for units place. Remember place, simply HTU, place value. Two things, number into hundred or number into tens or number into units. Now in the first example we will see. In the number 153, teacher has underlined 1. So 1 is the place is under 100. So what will the place value be? Number into 100, which is equal to 100. 153, 5. What is the place of 5? The place of 5 is tens. So the place value will be 5 into 10, which is 50. HTU 1, 5, 3. So what is the place of 3? The place of 3 is units. And the place value is 3 into 1, 3. We will see one more example. 248. HTU. In 248, the place and place value of the number 2. 2 is in hundreds place. And the place value of 2 is 2 into 100, 200. Number 4. The place is 10. The place value is 4 into 10, 40. For the number 8, the place is units. And the place value is 8 into 1 is equal to 8. Now we must remember the rule for 0. Whenever there is a number 0, whether it is under tens place or unit place, you have to see which 0 is underlined. In this case, the 0 under T is underlined. So, the place of this 0 is 10. But the place value, 0 into tens is equal to 0. So, the place value will always be 0 if the number is in 0. Again, 300. Which 0 is underlined? The one under units place. So, we will say places, units. But the place value, again, 0 into 1 is equal to 0. So, when you have 0 under tens place or you have 0 under units place, the place value will always be 0. Let's complete the exercises in the textbook. The first one. 
we have to count how many are there. So we can see there are six beads and they have written six. And down for the place value is also six because it is under unit. Six into one is equal to six. Next one, there are two necklaces. Two tens. Tens, two into ten is equal to twenty. Six beads. Six into one is equal to six. So we will write twenty. Six. Next, there are four bundles of ten. We have written number over here four. But what is the place value? Four into ten is equal to forty. Two units. Two into one is equal to two. Forty two. Next, there are three tens. Three tens. Three into ten is equal to thirty. And there are four units. 4 into 1 is equal to 4. We will turn the page and we will finish the exercise on the next page. Tell the place value of each underlined digit. The place here the number 1 is underlined 18. The place value of 1 is 10 because 1 is under tens place. As 1 is in the tens place. Two, three, twenty-three. The place value of three is three, as three is in the units place. Sixty-five. The place value of five is five, as five is in the units place. Five into one. Seventy-two. The place value of seven is seventy, as seven is in the tens place. So seven into ten is seventy. Fifty. The number zero is underlined. The place value of zero is zero, as zero is in the units place. Forty. The place value of four is forty, as four is in the tens place. So we have to do four into ten. Eighty-eight. The place value of eight is eighty, as eight is in the tens place. So again, eight into ten. The next number again eighty-eight, but this time the eight in the units place is underlined. So the place value of eight is eight now, because as eight is in the units place, so we are doing eight into one. Sixty-one. The place value of six is sixty, as six is in the tens place. So six into ten. Now write the place value of each of the Of each digit in the numbers given below, you must always remember T U T U T U T U T U. So you have tens and units. T two into ten twenty. U U two into one two. T U T three three into ten thirty. Eight into one eight. Forty one. This is under T. Four into tens are forty. One into one is equal to one. Sixty. Six into ten is equal to sixty. Zero into one is equal to zero. Ninety-five. Nine under tens place. This is so nine into ten is ninety. Five into one is five. So how will we split the numbers? Twenty-two, twenty, and two. Thirty-eight, thirty, and eight. Forty-one. Forty and one, sixty, sixty and zero, ninety-five, ninety and five. And again, this is how we will remember place and place value. Place is simply whether the number is under hundreds, tens, or units. Place value. We have to do two things: take the number and multiply it by which house it is under, whether it is under hundreds. Tens or units. So you remember place and place value. Do remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all of the latest videos. Please let us know in the comment section below what other lessons you would like us to make. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.